Hello, and welcome to None of the Above. My name is Steve Nemirovsky, and I'm your host. Uh, for those of you that haven't uh, joined us before, None of the Above is a political program where we're specifically dedicated to examining the causes of dysfunction and polarization in our political world. Uh, usually in each show we'll have topics where we delve into dysfunction, polarization, etc. But we're also focused on solutions. We also do try to provide with each show solution sets to how to break through the dysfunction, how to minimize the polarization. And that's what we'll uh, start a new series today to investigate uh, opportunities to do just that. I thought we'd start today's show, however, on a bit of a lighter note. Uh, for those of you that have been with us before, one of our regular guests is Richard Winger, who is one of the nation's leading authorities on ballot access. And Richard produces a, a marvelous uh, monthly newsletter called Ballot Access News. And I am a subscriber. I, I think it's a, uh, a great informational source and it's very valuable for our show. So I was very surprised when I opened up this month's newsletter and I found an article which I think is perfect for none of the above because Richard uh, cites the fact that in Nevada, in the Democratic primary, none of the above actually won the primary. I don't know why in Nevada they have a category for none of the above. It's technically called none of these candidates, but the voter was allowed to pick that they did not want any of the candidates in the Democratic primary, and in fact that category was the winner. The category for none of the above in Nevada got just short of 22,000 votes, and the person that won the primary, uh, Robert Goodman, got 18,000 votes. So you can see that there is uh, a little pushback being uh, shown in Nevada with the fact that people are not happy with their candidates, and uh, none of the above was a winner. I, I got a bit of a chuckle out of that. Another thing that uh, Richard is reporting this month, and this is a topic that we're going to get into, not in today's show, but a little bit down the road as we head towards the elections, is uh, my personal theory of the fact that some of the solution sets to our political dysfunction will derive from the, as we, will derive from the fact that we need a third political party, we need more independent candidates, and Richard is reporting that for the first time in history in South Carolina, there's going to be an independent candidate for governor. Oftentimes you'll find independent candidates for lower offices, but not necessarily for the higher offices like governor. So for there to be a candidate to officially be on the ballot in South Carolina as an independent, it's probably a pretty big deal. What we're going to do again later in the fall is start examining the election process and examining third parties. If you want to get a bit of a jump start on that, you can look at uh, ballotpedia.org, one of our favorite sites in, in each state. They identify the independent candidates and the opportunities to uh, back independents. Uh, also, thirdparty101.com uh, is another site where you can go to and find out who the independent candidates that are going to be running for office. But again, we're going to focus on future shows on that issue a little more. For today, we're going to start a new segment uh, that I'm going to, for the time being, call Difference Makers people that have stepped up and literally uh, in the past few years developed entirely new organizations to take on these issues of how to deal with dysfunction, how to deal with polarization. And we're going to start today's conversation with a group called No Labels out of Washington, D.C. On future shows, we're going to have conversations regarding the Bipartisan Policy Institute, uh, a group called Wolfpack that's working on a constitutional amendment to deal with campaign finance reform. So consistent with the theme of our show, not only is this about solutions, but we're going to offer you places where you can go to get involved, get involved in the conversation, get involved in solution sets, get active, become a citizen lobbyist. And again, we're going to start that conversation today.